You did what? Oh, Tempa Tempa Stella, what seems to be the matter? <sighs> you. Is this all a game to you? Is that that's what is that what you're doing? Trying to ruin my relationship with my daughter. But don't you think she should know the real you? The selfish, insecure. Say one more word, and I'll take your itty bitty bird. <sighs> Whatever. Hand me the book. What? Hand it to me right now. Uh, sorry, but that will be very much impossible. So help me God if you don't... What? Please, Stella, explain to me. What will you do? And then Stolas' phone rings and he ushers into which, yeah, Blitz is, the book is gone. What? Yeah. Someone's saying that they, your daughter took it and left him. I, we have no way to get it back or get her back. Said something about meeting the one who plowed your, her mother? What? As yes. And this is where we see Octavia in the My Hero world, in which she is looking for Izuku. Only thing is, she only knows him by his hero name. In which, being around who who she lives with, she mispronounces it quite a bit, actually. So while she's looking for Deku, she's saying she's looking for something else. Everyone pretty much looking at her like she's crazy. That is until she ends up meeting Oraka. Yeah, Oraka. Izuku told them about the fact that Stella was a demon from hell and everything. The only thing is, when Oraka sees her looking for Izuku, it's like, Wait, are you Stella? You look different from last time we. Oh, you mean my mother? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Still your mom? <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what are you he he here for? I'm looking for a hero that slept with her a while back, in which, um, <laughs> I have some, I wanted to discuss some things with him. Araka, thinking the most outlandish things ever. Is there any way that, no, no, that's impossible. That's, there's no way he knocked her up. He said that she didn't even want to get knocked up by him, let alone. It's, it hasn't even been nine months yet. She's... Wait, no, no, no. Wait, but they are from hell. Time I move differently in which, oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Uh, excuse me. Yes! Oh, yeah, you're looking for your father. Come Wait, what? I mean, Deku. Yes, how would you know? Mm. Either way, come on, I'll, I'll take you to him. Oraka being flustered, pissed, as well as... I can't believe this is happening. Of all the people to have a child by, he got knocked up a demon! Which, yes, Izuku, he's at his house. Which he's pretty much just working out before he goes out for another patrol. And Ring gets knocking the door and seeing that Oraka huffing and puffing with 
Octavia, she's like, can I help you with something? Are you? What? I'm Octavia. I'm, oh, you're Stella's kid. <gasps> so you do know about her. What? Yeah, she, she, she told me. So you're still in contact with that demon? Huh? Look, I care about you, Isuku, but I will not allow you to be a deadbeat father. What? Yes, this is your daughter, isn't she? What? No! Don't deny it now. You already spilled the beans about the fact that you already knew about this poor child. Excuse me, I think we're around the same age, aren't we? Pitch posh, doesn't matter. You must take responsibility. Oh, this bitch. Excuse me! You have no idea what you're talking about. She is not my kid. Stella already had her with her husband. Huh? I told you about this. You told me that she wanted to blow off some steam and so. Did you just see this? <sighs> okay. Whatever. Uh doesn't matter. Okay. So you're Stella's child. Well and uh Stolas's child, correct? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, what are you doing here? Oh. I'm here to warn you. Excuse me? <laughs> are you trying to threaten me? No. Then what do you mean by warn me? How much do you know about my mother? think what I know should be said about around her child. Excuse me? <clears throat> we didn't do much talking when we met. Oh. Oh! Thank you. Thank you for censoring yourself, so to speak. <sighs> yeah, I did not need any information pertaining to oh, that. But here, here, I'll explain the kind of person my mom is. One lengthy explanation, paraphrase from what Stella said, you know. Just, holy. That's the kind of woman your, your dad married? Well, granted, he had no choice, but yes. Holy. Oh, my. Ooh, I feel so dirty. Or I go, just like, I, why, why do I feel like I need to bathe in bleach? She sounds like a terrible person. Oh, believe me, she is. Huh. I blame my dad for so long for ruining their happy marriage over a oh, one night stand. But, mm, uh, after hearing what he had to go through just so I could have somewhat of a normal life, I, I couldn't stop saying I'm sorry. It, it never felt like I said it enough. Well, dear, that, that would make sense. I mean... Why I hear you're, why I heard, oh my god. Your mom may be, oof, she may be freaky diggy when it comes to them sheets, but she is a 
crazy, self-centered, selfish, no good, good for nothing, I mean, all right, all right, sorry, no, 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 I understand what you're trying to say, but don't forget that's still my mom, I'm stuck, I'm stuck with her as my family regardless, <laughs> what are you talking about, huh? You may not be able to choose who you're related to, but you can choose your own family. Uh, really? I never knew that. Yeah, just because you're related does not make you family. Ha! <laughs> Seriously, there are some terrible people who should never be parents. Believe me. <sighs> but... I don't think for certain I've tried to see the good in everybody. Ugh. I'm a believer uh, deep down there's good in everyone. You're serious? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Perhaps. Perhaps I am, but still, not everyone's born that way. She was strangling. I I, I know, I know, I know. Ugh. I sure as hell have no idea what could have turned her into that. But. I don't know. Hmm. So, that's pretty much all you want. Only reason why you want to be here. Yeah, you saw my dad's grimoire. What? Yeah, I went to his little fuck toy and stole it. And you gave him no explanation. Nope. Do you not realize how worried your dad is right now? Oh, heck, he could come. Oh, wait. You didn't think this would be through, did you? If there's an explosion in which, yeah, Stolas is in his full demonic transformation, ready to pretty much tear Zuku to shreds if he so much as touches Octavia. Her being... The voice of reason. And this is when Yuzuku finally meets Stolas and as well as Blitz, Millie, and Moxie. And upon seeing them, it was like, oh my god. I, guess I still can't believe. <laughs> Even though I know you guys are demons, it's still... So you like what you see? Blitz! What? This is the first time you've seen a, a real demon before. <clears throat> oh, right. Besides your wife. Yeah. He saw all, every inch of her, didn't he? Whew. Anyway. We found your kid. So let's get out of here. As then, yeah. Stolas, he wants to talk with Izuku. Pretty much wanted to relay the same kind of warning. But when he tells her that your daughter already told me, she warned me about how much of a bitch your, your wife is. Oh, has she now? You're welcome. I didn't ask you to do that. You didn't have to. I felt like it was my duty to warn anybody about mom. <sighs> Either way. So, you don't hate me. I mean, I hate infidelity. 
to my very being. I am not going to lie. I do not like it at all. Man, women, it, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't cheat on your partner. It's just wrong in my eyes. If anything, just get a divorce or break up, you know. But I do understand your reasoning. It's just the execution. I mean, you could have gotten away with it. If Blitz, I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, just don't call me Blitz though, or else I'll have to gut you. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's just looking at a blank stare. You're serious? Oh yes. Okay, so, but uh. Yeah, if Blitz just kept his mouth shut and just ran out of the party, it would have, it would have, uh, you know, never have happened. I guess you do have a point. Huh, now I think about it. Why did you tell her as soon as you crashed her little tea party? I need a distraction. What? I need her to get mad at someone, and I'd rather she tear you into an asshole than me. Heck, or heck, with what we did that night, you. I didn't need a new one. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Ugh. Oh man, I. Oh man, I, I do not need that. Fi oh my god, the visuals. Oh shit. Oraka is still stunned at what she's seeing. While Millie and Moxie are pretty much talking away. It's like, wow, this is a lot different from the other one. Excuse me? Oh yeah. You see, when it comes to. His highest powers, or at least his grimoire, he can go to not only different realms or worlds, just dimensions. And this is one that is very intriguing. I have never seen a world with superheroes and supervillains. It's amazing. I mean, I've seen comic books from our version of the mortal realm, but still... This is incredible. And he's, what, a high-ranking hero? Actually, he's number one hero. Really? Oh, yes, after defeating Alpha of One, Chizaki, and a whole slew of other high-ranking villains. Huh. Incredible. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I gotta go visit Toga. Again? She put in a request to see me. Don't you lie to me. I know... I know you see her for conjugal visits. <laughs> I would never! He's a good... Don't. If you lie to me, if you tell me one more lie, I will gut you. Uh, Oraka! Wait. Are you Oraka? Huh? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You're not Oraka, are you? What? Uh... I'm sorry, what's happening? Oh, right, you guys can go home. It's just... I need to talk with my friend here. Uh, is it go cutting his hand and just placing it in front of Oraka's face? What are you doing? Don't play dumb with me. 
Oracle would ever make such a threat. As yes, Toga shows up. How'd you know? Huh. You had some blood around your lips. I can smell it. Oh, well, that's what that was. No wonder you start acting all different, like you're ready to leave the bathroom. Huh, but how... Wait. Huh. From what you told me, she's supposed to be in prison. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, Toga's supposed to be in prison, but apparently she still has some... Uh, Jen's blood. It made a copy. You know me so well. So, tell me, tell me a lot more about this Stella character who I need to mutilate. Uh, I would rather you didn't. So, part of me thinks you might not even be able to. All things considered, but I rather you didn't. Uh, why, why, why you had to be such a buzzkill? Because if I'm not, you're actually going to kill someone. But from what, from what I heard, she's a terrible person who deserves a death anyway. Come on. Wouldn't the world be a better place if she were just not around? Uh, Julia! That is not the... Uh, that, 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 that. You might want to hit her out. Stolas! What? I mean, she... She makes a compelling argument. Don't you think? Still, st that's still your wife! In which we all agree she's a terrible person who needs to be mutilated, correct? I I anyone, anyone, wants to, anyone wants to disagree? <laughs> is everyone just staying silent? Stores is See, they're too scared to even say either or. Come on, Izuku, just, just one little cut and she'll, <laughs> she'll be out of our hair forever. Are you saying this because you want her dead? Or because you just want to make sure she never sleeps with me again? Look, I've been called a devil, little demon devil child ever since I let the true me slip. And despite our private time in Tartarus, I don't want you being around any more demons come night time. Oh! Oh my, how forward of you! I say everything I say for the sake of love. Okay. Well, either way, is uh, Araka still? Oh, yeah, she's fine. She's just unconscious in the bathroom. <sighs> okay, good. You do know you're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, out. I shall behave. I promise. You can take me away after. Hmm. Oh yeah, we should probably go go to Oraka because that place was pretty dirty. Upon seeing Oraka and Stoas and everyone else pretty much leaving back to hell, she's no she's understandably pissed that Toga would do such a thing. But even more so, the fact that 
she and Izuku do have a certain agreement whenever he comes to visit. In which Izuku does like, wait, so you really didn't know why I would visit Toga. I mean, I knew you visited her, I just didn't know what for. I mean, I visit her all the time. Really? What for? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, we're, we just talk about girl stuff, and it's none of your business, so st stop asking. And we talk about who's going to plow you first. What? I, I, no, 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 we do not. That is not what we talk about at all. Fine. Yeah, that's not what we discuss. We talk about pretty much how much we care about you. Aww, that's so sweet. Uh, uh, I didn't ex I did not know how much you cared. Or Araka? Seriously? Uh, well, I... Seriously! <laughs> oh, man, why are you so tense? Calm down, Araka. You just... Just... Doesn't get it. He doesn't get the whole full scope of our love for him yet. Give him time. He'll understand. Or die trying. Right? <laughs> okay, how about this? How about we talk about the whole me pretty much plowing demon? Huh? Oh yeah, that. We I decided to kill her. Excuse me? Yep. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, but, but why? As Araka finally gets caught up, it was just like, oh, that bitch. Oh, not you too! What? She sounds like a... I know! So why not just... Why do I always attract the crazy ones? I'm sorry? Huh? I, did you just did you just call us crazy? Fuck! I, I mean no! No, 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 no! Of course, of course I didn't! Oh no, Baraka, he's he called us crazy! You haven't seen crazy. Just wait. Why does it feel like I sh <sighs> shot my own self in the foot? You did. And we will talk about that later. As for back in hell, pretty much Stoic and Octavia are not talking to Stella. Her being even more Mm. Let's say, say the word today is annoying, batshit, crazy, entitled esque. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the new word of the day. One thing is, she does end up getting the book. But when she goes to the human world, she's she knows his. Hmm. Now to find my little stress reliever. Only thing is, when she does find Izuku, he is not just unzipping his pants like she wants. He tells her 
that, yeah, your, your family told me all about you. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not, you know, what? Sorry, I'm, I, I don't feel like it. Excuse me? You, you can't say that. What? No, that's not what we say. Remember, we don't want the... Oh. What the heck? That's kind of... That's not fair. So it's okay for you to say you don't feel like bumming ugly, but if we say there's an issue, you're damn right. Well, hell, you know what they say, no means no. Really? It, yeah, no means no. Okay. All right. I understand. Good. My body, my choice. <laughs> right, right. Whatever you say. <laughs> of course, I understand. Good. Good. Thank you for understanding, Stella. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you humans or men don't feel like ugh, playing hide the zucchini. No, we do not. Mm-hmm. Right. G good to know. Uh, in that case, I'll go home. Thank you. Oof. Just you wait. That ass is going to be mine soon enough. Excuse me? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, so uh, I'll see you some other time. Yes. Still leaving. Izuku feeling all sorts of good about himself, but also feeling this overwhelming sense of dread. It was just like, why does it feel like I'm about to die? Why do I feel like something is going to happen to me for refusing this crazy woman? Eh, time will tell. If his hunch is correct or not. But let's cut to being back in hell with Stella. She does end up talking with Stryker. She does still want Stella's dead for the embarrassment, the humiliation of sleeping with someone who's literally just a lower class than you. An imp of all things. How dare he? You just Stryker is just looking like you really do not care for the lower classes at all, do you? No. No, I do not. We only have one true purpose to serve us. It makes sense. They're not meant to be partners or potential love interests. Right. Understand, man. So, you just want me to kill your husband off and that's pretty much it. But, what about this Izuku person? What? I mean, for what I hear, he... He's uh, gone in here, it's pretty bad too. So, why not make it a two for one deal? <laughs> uh, he's a mortal for one. How are you even going to get 
to, you know, the mortal realm, let alone his. Well, there's this thing you could use to help me uh, get around. What? Explain. Have you ever heard as a, of uh, Asmodeus crystals? No. I can't say I have. Well, darling, you need a quick lesson. <laughs> as yeah when Stella learns about the the potential in Asmodeus Crystal she's pretty much like oh really hmm but there is an issue if he's dead where will he go? Excuse me. He'd just be dead, wouldn't he? He'd probably go. Yes. He would probably be here. If not, one of the other realms of, that represent hell. So, what? If anything. Though, yes, I would love for Stoll to be on my thumb. That is too powerful. He is, has way too much power to really do that. But Izuku, on the other hand... Hmm, I've seen his power. Hell, I've felt it. Hmm. Very interesting. However... Getting him to be a, for lack of a better word, pawn in my scheme. That could be more problematic. That may be so, but it's still possible. Yes, but then there's another problem. You won't be able to really live here. Hmm. Not unless Stolos is long since gone. I mean, they can only pretty much take up residence in the Pride Ring, I believe. Hmm. But what if we turn him into a more natural born demon? Excuse me. You know. Yes, though, Earth-born demons do hmm, change in appearance. They're so much more different than you or me. I mean, yes, they gain some new abilities when turning into a demon. Yes, they can partake in a similar pleasures as a demon. But they can't procreate, and they're only stuck in the pride ring. Unlike us, I don't know if it's seen many airborne demons pay a visit to any of the other rings. And that's assuming that you can even get him to this version of hell. Hmm. I do suppose you're right. Oh well. Well, I'll have to drop this subject and pick it up some other time. Right now, I just need to make sure that I can... Hmm. <sighs> wait, wait, no, that won't work. What are you talking about? Well, think of it like this, killing royalty, though it is a thing that happens, you also have to consider the fact that I would be the main suspect. Yeah, but you gotta remember, I am the one pulling the trigger. I'm the one killing them. So, chances are they ain't gonna 
tie it back to you unless you say something. And I think you're known to be quite discreet, ma'am. Hmm. You do have a point. However, what shall I really do to keep my new pet, you know, obedient? Well, there are a bunch of potions, magic spells you can use. All you got to do is make sure you get the right one. I will suggest one of the most expensive, longest lasting, I mean really long lasting, like till death do you part. Huh. And then also when it comes to the summoning demons. Wh wh what are you talking about? Damn, ma'am, you really don't know much, do you? <sighs> Learning is for the plebes and gutter trash. Right. Then you like this. You can summon a demon through their signal as well as a spell specifically tailored to that certain demon, right? Yes. All hellborn demons have one. Earthborn. Hmm. No, unless they have a, a handy dandy uh, osmosis crystal, they can't really uh, leave. No, can't they? Which is why the plans is such a necessary action to be taken. Mm-hmm. I know this. So what you're saying is not only will I have to make him a uh, hell-born demon somehow, I also have to make it so he has a... Yep. If anything, all hell-born demons can be summoned. Earth-born, mm, not so much. If anything, uh, the only person who can possibly really teleport from round to realm is him. What? You know, the radio demon. <sighs> Fucking Alistair. That's his name? Yeah. I should learn just how he does that. Don't know. But if anything, it might have something to do with that microphone of his. What? You haven't noticed that microphone's alive, have you? Yeah. It doesn't matter, he can kill me, he can only truly annoy the hell. Exactly. You seem to really enjoy underestimating your potential adversaries. <laughs> I have no adversaries. All I have are bugs to squish. Uh, honestly, ma'am, you really need to get off that high horse. What? Think about it. Your husband cheated on you with the very imps you spit on. You told your daughter about how you really are. And to be honest, I'm surprised she didn't know about your true nature already. And she went to the mortal realm to tell your pet all about you. And now he is the problem you or that nookie you want. You see what happens when you underestimate people you think are beneath you. Even now, this gun you gave me. What about it? Let's say I didn't like it. 
I could just shoot you right now, couldn't I? <sighs> See what I mean by underestimating your potential adversaries? You have done nothing but insult imps ever since we first met. And yet, you give one of those very imps one of the few things that can actually kill you as your passion is kind you really don't understand the position you are in woman and I respect that to an extent but one of the things for sure, stop underestimating people just because you think they ain't worth your time. <sighs> I don't underestimate people. I underestimate the insects I am forced to share same realm with there is a mighty fine difference whatever you say ma'am whatever you say good now do your job before you have to worry about being at the end of someone's scope as well. Hmm. <laughs> so, so scary. Thank you. So uh, naive. What? Striker gone. As yes, Stella is pretty much thinking about what he said. I'm resting me. People, no one does that. I mean, heck, why should I be so worried about people who are so beneath me that I don't even register them as threats? Hmm. But he does have a point. I didn't expect Stoas and Octavia to turn on me like this. Let alone my little toy. As much as I hate to say it, chances are he's right. I should probably take them more seriously, but something about them just pisses me off to the point where I. I just want to see them writhe in agony. Beg me for forgiveness for what they put me through. The fucking humiliation of being cheated on by him with an imp. I will not rest until I have my revenge. I'll make sure that those two <sighs> No. Not just Octavia, not just Stoas, not even just Isuku, all of them. All of them that's involved. <sighs> Flying Amp never existed. Imp didn't exist. Stoas one had the backbone to even threaten, even think about divorcing me. 
Octavia wouldn't be such a pompous, spoiled brat, mouthing off to me like me. I'm a plebe. Misuku would be begging to bet me. He would beg to even lick my shit-covered boot. <sighs> wasn't for that. Amp! Yes. That imp. Blitz, so. He's the cause of this. He snuck into our manor. My home. And took my husband from me. Yes, I never truly loved Stolas, but he had his uses. Being a part of the Goisha family had uh, its perks. Hmm. And I sure don't want to lose any of those, now do I? So, I may need to rethink my whole position. Though, yes, I want Stolas to pay for what he did to me. Perhaps I was a little quick to blame. I mean, it's not his fault that slutty imp invaded our Hmm. Peaceful lives. It's not his fault he ruined such a lucrative, rewarding marriage to me. Hmm. <laughs> it's definitely not his fault that our daughter sees me as lower than scum. It's all that imp's fault. He's the one who took him away. Who started to fill his mind with the possibility of not having to be married to me. Hmm. So yes, I ask myself, what if that one minuscule good-for-nothing imp never existed? <laughs> Now that could be a smashing idea. Hmm. But simply killing him won't do. I want Stoas broken. I want him to come crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. I want him hurt, weak. Vulnerable. I want Octavia to see the man I married. <laughs> oh, just the idea of Stolas at his lowest point. It's like a fine wine in which it would be very worth the wait just for a sip of it. I've tortured him enough during our marriage, yes. I've sipped enough of that vintage. It's time for me to cultivate a new one. To expand my palate. Hmm. 
and it starts with taking away what he loves. Can't kill Octavia. No, 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 no. She needs to see her father as, uh, as such a disappointment. I can wait for her to come to her senses, but Stolas, he really needs to wake up. See the error of his ways. Simply killing him won't work. Simply killing the imp is not what I need to do. I need to think more sinister. This time I truly thought like the demon I am. <laughs> oh, thank you, Striker. This is going to be the beginning of something so delicious that everyone would wonder why I have such a smile on my face despite everything. I must make this vintage, this wine I'm about to cultivate. <laughs> I had to make it the most exquisite I have ever had the pleasure of tasting. Only then will I find happiness. <sighs> yes. I must say, I truly cannot wait to see Izuku and Stolas Octavia in such anguish. But, you have to wait. I have to prepare. Oh. This is going to be wonderful. As Zuko wakes up from what's seemingly a bad dream, is this like, holy shit. <laughs> what's wrong? Is Oraka's right beside him? Oh, no, nothing. Alright. <sighs> nothing at all. I think I just had a bad dream or something. Alright, and go to bed. Stole this. He wakes up too. You was like, wait, Blitzy, are you? I'm fine, just shut up and go to bed. Like, I'll blow you in the morning. But, Blitz, no, 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 no. Sleep first, then. <laughs> yeah. uh, then I'll go, then. Well, I'll go down on you. Yeah. Well, okay. G good night. Huh. Yes. It's. It's probably nothing. I must be just getting a little paranoid. <laughs>